This workshop is an invitation to our authenticity, to the whole rainbow and spectrum of who we are, who we're becoming, and who we've always been. I so deeply value holding space for people to be seen and held. And so often we don't have spaces to be seen and held within our sexuality. And so I'm just really excited to have a space and really dive in and explore because we don't have those spaces often. Giving people the chance to come together in an environment that's pure when they can come together and share about their sexual experiences, their questions, their concerns, their practices, their sexual wellness increases measurably. With the intention that there be a safe container really is both unique and extremely useful. And joyous. Many of us don't often really like prioritize pleasure. What we've created is a space where people can show up as themselves. It can be really fun to look at different kinds of toys <laughs> together. <laughs> it takes any sexual shame and just sends it out the window. I have such a big fight against sexual repression. The part of ourselves and our natures that's essential to the perpetuation of the species is shamed and repressed. It's okay to do this. It's okay to ask for something that you want to try. It's okay to try something and not like it. And if we take the shame out of it, if we give ourselves permission to explore, we can go so far with unearthing who we are as sexual beings. And there's so much magic in that. Sexuality and sex and like that sort of play is passionate and hot and silly and awkward and uncomfortable sometimes. And like letting all of that be normal. So much of the healing comes from stepping into the pleasure piece. I really think that sexuality is our life force and it's very separate from the act of sex or from any other human being, you know, that we do choose to engage our sexuality with other people, but even on our own, we are complete sexual beings and we don't need a pers another person there to engage our sexuality and to feel our sexual strength, our sexual power. That life force in us is always there. It's about slowing down. It's about being present connecting to ourselves. There's not a lot to figure out. It's more like we have to take off some of the layers of the beliefs that we've all accumulated around sex and sexuality to get down to our essence and who we really are. Awakening our sacred sexuality. Awakening our sacred sexuality. Awakening our sacred sexuality. This workshop will be happening January 20 through 22nd in Eugene, Oregon. It's an amazing feeling to be with a group of people who are willing to be vulnerable about this deepest part of themselves. It just creates an environment where everybody kind of wants to open up.